Hello and welcome to We Are Finn. Dan here with uh, Magni X and Roy, the CEO. Welcome, first of all, to We Are Finn. Thank you very much. Electric engines. Wow, we've been talking about this for a long time. Talk me through uh, what you are currently producing. Uh, Magni X is producing uh, two series of motors for electric aircraft. Uh, one is a 375 horsepower motor, the other is a 750 horsepower motor. Now, at the Paris Air Show for 2019, we saw the launch of the Eviation uh, all electric plane. You're in partnership with those guys? Yep, that's right. It's a very exciting year for us. Uh, Eviation have launched their aircraft with our propulsion system on it. Three of our Magni 250s, which means three of the 375 horsepower motors, will be propelling that aircraft. Uh, it's also very exciting because uh, this same year, we also announced our partnership with Canadian airline Harbor Air, where we're going to convert uh, Beaver aircraft and their entire fleet to all electric as well. So talk me through that process, and that's very interesting, isn't it? The conversion of existing airframes. Uh, it's a really exciting time because uh, while you have on the one hand the advantages of longer range, uh, optimized aircraft for electric like the Aviation Alice, not everyone's going to be able to afford that or wait for that. Uh, and not everyone needs that long range as well. Someone like a Harbor Air that has average flights of 50, 60, 70 miles doesn't need an aircraft that can do 650 miles. So a converted aircraft allows them to keep the aircraft that they know how to fly, they know how to use, and they can get 100, 120 miles out of. And what's the process for that conversion? Basically, you take an existing aircraft, uh, you strip out all of the fuel-based systems, you take out the very antiquated, heavy, gas-guzzling, emission-creating engine, and you replace it with a clean, small, lightweight motor, like what you see here at our booth, uh, replace the fuel with batteries, and you do a lot of testing as you fly, and our expected uh, first flight is this November. That's fantastic. Now, uh, tell me the future, because I say we've been talking about electricity for a long time. It's not the future now, it is here, but what's around the corner for you guys? Uh, there's really two aspects. The short-term future is starting to see middle-mile flights go all-electric. Uh, we're talking about 2022, so a little less than three years from now, uh, you'll start seeing people flying 100, 200, 500 miles in an all-electric clean aircraft. Beyond that, when you look five to 10 years down the line, uh, you'll start seeing flights of 1,000 or 1,500 miles being done in an all-electric aircraft of up to 19 to 25 seats, as opposed to the six to 12, which we'll see in the very short term. Now, I don't want to use the term snapping at your heels, but I just have, but you have a lot of traditional, let's call them traditional manufacturers who are snapping at your heels now. It's an interesting uh, uh, dilemma on what's been happening so far, a conundrum, if you will. 12 months ago, uh, no one believed when we said, hey, we're building these electric motors, would you like to supply materials to us or stuff like that? No one would believe it. Uh, now, in 12 months, things have flipped. When you look around this air show, uh, we're not the only ones in this electric realm. As you mentioned, Aviation are here, Siemens are building electric motors, Safran are trying. So there's a lot of companies who've suddenly uh, got on this really successful futuristic bandwagon, if you will, of the aviation industry is going electric. Suddenly, the same suppliers that wouldn't answer our calls are suddenly saying, hey, how do we participate? Because they're figuring out this isn't just a dream, it's becoming a reality. So it's very exciting. Roy, a great way to finish. Thank you very much. Thank you. The dream becomes a reality for electric flights right here with the guys at Magni X. Now, for the latest on them, of course, get online. And for all our aviation, aerospace, and defense news, you find it all at wearefin.com.